Hello YouTube, this is the third video in our JavaScript Basics tutorial series. In this video I'm going to be talking about the DOM, which is the document object model. In JavaScript you can um, select elements based on their location in the document and certain attributes that they have. So we're going to go ahead and create a few elements. Div We'll select, we'll create a um, paragraph, and we will create a, let's see, um, button, I guess. And this is going to have some style properties. Make that a few pixels. Uh, we'll give this a value. And we'll give them all IDs because that's the way we're going to be selecting elements most of the time using JavaScript as it's the simplest way to do it. jQuery has a much simpler selection um, method. It uses CSS selectors rather than the DOM, so uh, it's a lot easier to work with, but we're not going to be using that. We're going to be using JavaScript, so we're going to be doing it as efficiently as possible with JavaScript. Um, so we'll give this our D, our div, our paragraph, and our button. Now, um, we have this document object, which is an object has, an object is like a variable that has a series of different functionalities built into it. So document, one of the functionalities document has is to get an element by its ID and store that element in a variable. So um, let's see, we can get our div by ID using the get element by ID method. So get uppercase E element, uppercase B by uppercase I ID, and then it has uh, function parameters, only one parameter. Um, I'll explain what a function is later, as well as what parameters are later, but for now just follow the syntax and just kind of go with it. Um, so you have a string inside of these parentheses, which can be a single quoted or double quoted string again. Um, and it will have a value of whatever the ID of the element that we're selecting is. So now we can save that element. Basically we can save this element to a variable. So now this so now our variable div has a value of this div. Not the text that creates this div, not this string right here that I have selected, but the actual div itself, the object. Now we can create the same thing for the paragraph. And now our variable p has a value of the paragraph object that we've made. And we'll do the same thing with our button. I'm just going to copy and paste. There you go. So now we have all of these objects in the HTML DOM stored in JavaScript variables.
Now there are a bunch of other methods that the document object has, but we're not going to be working with them today because they're uh, more advanced than we want to use so far in the in the tutorial based on our progress. So um, now these objects have methods, just like the document object has methods. This button object now has methods. So I can set, I, if I want to work with my paragraph object, I can use this method called inner HTML. This will change the HTML value, value of the paragraph. Um, let me not do that for a second so that you can see what the document looks like. So this is what it looks like before we use, before we execute our JavaScript code, or before we use our objects rather. This code has already been executed when you saw that, but we haven't done anything with these objects, so it's not going to change the appearance on the page. Um, okay, so we're going to use this inner HTML method, which changes the HTML value of the object that we're using it on. So if we want to set the value to a different value, we can do that. Oh, what's going on here? Ah, yes. So the problem here is, this is the developer panel, by the way. I'll be covering this in the next tutorial. Um, problem here is that we have we have these JavaScript variables, and they're trying to get the value, or they're trying to store a value of an object before that object is created. So what's happening is this code is being executed before these are created. So I'm gonna write some code here that isn't really gonna make sense, but we're gonna be using it in pretty much all of our in every JavaScript um, script that we write. So, I need to come up with a better way to say that, JavaScript script. Okay, so now what, what's happening here, I'll just explain it, I wanna explain the syntax, but what's happening is we're waiting for the window to load, so we're waiting for all these elements to load, and then after they've loaded, we're executing this code. So anytime you want to wait for the window to load, or you want to wait for the document to load, you have to write this, and then place your code inside there, and this code will execute after that has loaded. I'll explain this window on load function later. Um, okay, so now this should work. There we go. So after these elements have been created, we wait, and then it will save all these, and we will set the inner HTML value of our paragraph to a different value. Now, another thing we can do is create a variable third value, and make that variable a string. Um, And now rather than this, we can place a third value. And we get a third value. So we're setting the value of this paragraph equal to a variable. Um, I think that's about it for this tutorial. I don't want to show you too much more without explaining operators and um, the combination of variables. So I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Um, in the next tutorial, we will be working with the developer console, which is what I have open right here. Uh, that varies throughout browsers, but um, we're also going to be working with 
JavaScript comments, which are pretty simple. So the next tutorial should be pretty short. Uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.